Homemade Whisper. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's unboxing and mini product review of these little silicon push pop holders. I just ordered these on the internet and they arrived today. They are silicon holders for ice blocks. Um, they're a good size. You fill them up with any flavouring that you like, pop the lid on them and set them in between the bars on your refrigerator or in between the frozen food making sure that they are still upright. So we're going to fill them up with some apricot and banana frappes, some mango whey style bars and a diet shake for those of you that are diet dieting and don't want to miss out on cold summer treats. So these little fellas have to um, get washed up first and then we'll be back to pop them in the freezer and check out how good they are. Be right back. Okay our little silicon push pops have all been washed up now and we are going to start filling them. So for the first one I think we will do our apricot banana frappe. Just fill it right up, I guess. Pop the lid on. Does it want to make a mess? No, it doesn't. That's good. It's happy to do that. Oh, yes, it does want to make a mess. Maybe I should burp it. Maybe I filled it too much. That might be the problem. Next one's not as full. Right, we're learning here. And set it into a container that it can stand up because it's still liquid and I don't want it to spill. I'm not sure how they'll behave it as yet. Fill the next one up with our apricot and banana. Not as filled this time. I might air expel it a little and see if that works any better. Yeah, that's much better. No mess this time. That's good. That was my problem. Trying to compress the air. So there we go. You can hold it upside down. Doesn't leak. That's great. Stand him up as well. Now we're going to get an, just a breakfast shake. Liquid breakfast. Chocolate. Why not? Like the pink one with that one. Expel the air like we did last time if possible. Yep, good. No problems. Into our jug to stand them up. And our other one here. Make sure there's no fibery stuff left in the bottom because this is supposed to be a very high fiber protein shake. That'll do. A little bit left in there for the cook. Okay, expel the air. So far, so good. Now, I'm just going to make a little mango Wiesbari type one and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, onto our Wee Spa component of our push pops. So into the Thermo Shift bowl we go with one whole peeled, seeded and just chunked, not even chunked, taking the cheeks off and the bits around the seed. Then we're going to throw in some vanilla infused honey, which is just some really nicely flavoured honey, which has a vanilla bean resting in it. The honey goes into the vanilla, the vanilla goes into the honey. It's a good deal. Now we're just going to blitz those. Wow, that smells great. Okay, all it's got is the honey and the mango. That's it. We're going to scrape down the sides because it's pretty well spread itself around. And we are going to decant it into, because it's quite thick, we're going to decant it back into the bowl that it came out of so we can easily dispense it back into our push pop. 
You could pour it straight in if you wanted to, but because I'm going to drizzle some fresh cream down or some thickened cream down the side of the push pot to simulate a Weiss style bar, which is a, um, I think it's an Australian classic ice cream bar you can buy at the supermarket or service stations. We're going to tip the mango back into the bowl. Okay, we've got the orange push pot because that's going to help us remember that this is actually the mango one. And we've got some thickened cream. So we're just going to drizzle that down the side. And straight away, you can see it in there now, straight away in with the mango. I don't know how that's going to pour. It's going to dislodge the cream. Don't worry too much about that. Got itself away. And don't squeeze it up too much because you don't want to mix those flavours up. So just expel a bit of the air and on with the lid we go. Let's get the air out. There might be any, anything I have to master. It's got it. Okay, into the freezer we go. it. Got to just expel that air because it's quite thick and it's around the sides. I'll give this a little clean up before I pop it in my freezer because I don't want that to get ugly. And we pop them, in, them into the freezer, all of them into the freezer, standing upright like that. And we will check on their progress, just squeeze them to see how hard they've gotten and see how delicious they are. So stand by. Okay, so you don't have a silicon push pop set. And you still want to try my Cheeky Richo We Style Mango Bar. So, get yourself some, I've got silicon bowls, but you could perhaps use a plastic bowl or something, not a glass bowl, something that has to be able to be put into the freezer. So we're going to get just some thickened cream. Don't even worry about sweetening it, you won't need to. And pour it into the bottom of the bowl. Then, don't worry about cleaning that, it's all going in together anyway. Tip half of the leftover mango in there and half of the leftover mango in there. Now I've made one push pop and two little mini wheat bowls, not bars, bowls. Don't mix it up because you want it to freeze just like that. Now I have one of these little silicon covers, but I only have one. I've got every size extra that I need, but a spare one. So this is going to pull it out of shape a little bit because it's, um, it's a soft bowl, a soft cover, and it's obviously not exactly the right size for it. But it's not doing too bad a job. It will air seal it so it doesn't absorb any flavours from the refrigerator, from the freezer and stop it drying out too much. But I've got a feeling it's not going to last long enough to get freezer burn. Now, the beauty of silicon is, as opposed to some plastic is, you can then put cling film over it and it will stick to it quite well. So don't panic if you haven't got a uh, silicon cover. The, the cling film or plastic wrap will work just as well. And into the freezer we go. Okay, our little push pops are frozen solid and they've come out of the freezer. The air or the contents have expanded but they haven't popped open. There's been no mess, even this one here, there's been no mess in the freezer at all and they are frozen solid. So we'll take the top off and that's what you have there. So if you give it a little squeeze. I'm guessing you might have to warm it with your hands a little first because I really can only go, oh there we go and there you have it a contained ice block no more falling off the stick, no more running down the kids fingers and hands and arms I think these are a success they don't get freezer burnt you know exactly what the kids are eating 
you can even you even use diet shakes. This is a chocolate diet shake. They're reusable if you have to put them down for any reason. Get the phone. Whatever. I think they're a success. If you haven't got some of these little guys, they really aren't that expensive. And I think they're a great idea. If you enjoyed this little video review and demonstration on, of the use of these little silicon push pops, please leave me a comment and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Cheeky Richo channel for more interesting recipes and ideas. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. There's the mango wee spars, just pure mango. Let's warm it a little bit to release. But that's a, that's another thing. The plastic um, push-up things are very cold to hold. You've actually got to wrap some paper towel or something around them. And you can actually drink the contents of this once you've lifted it up and just hold it like so. They're great. That's the actual wee spa. Can you see that? Homemade wee spa. Yum.